Hi everybody, Game Pack Rat here with a dual unboxing of Sonic Origins Plus and Sonic Mania Plus, both for PlayStation 4. So, first let's take a look at the outer box for both games. So we see here, uh, Sonic Origins Plus has a really nice embossed or raised uh, both logo and artwork on the outside here. And Sonic Mania Plus features some really nice art with a foil background. Hopefully you can see the uh, different colors in the video there. Then, uh, looking at the spines, uh, Sonic Origins Plus is a fairly boring, just white on dark gray text, uh, whereas Sonic Mania Plus has the actual logo. kind of wish they did that for Origins as well. That's too bad. Um, top, nothing really remarkable, just a uh, opening for the uh, game case and art book on both games. The opposite side of the box is identical to the left side, or spine, and the bottom is the same as the top. And let's see, the back, so with Sonic Mania, excuse me, Sonic Origins Plus, uh, this game features, it says, four iconic titles remastered in widescreen HD. So those four titles would be the original Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic CD, and then Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles combined into one massive game. Uh, however, this Plus version also includes Amy Rose, or the classic version of Amy Rose, rather, as a new playable character, and 12 of the original Sonic Game Gear games. Uh, plus, the physical version has a reversible cover sheet and a 20-page art book. Um, let's see, so the game is supports one to two players, requires a 5.5 gigabyte download, uh, it does have PS Pro, PS4 Pro enhancement, and uh, this PS4 version can be upgraded to the PS5 version. Uh, now, taking a look at Mania. So this game is a new 2D Sonic title, or it was when it came out five years ago. Um, and this originally featured Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles as playable characters, but the Plus version added Ray the Flying Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo. Um, also, this physical version includes a uh, reversible Sega Genesis cover and an art book. So, first, uh, let's go ahead and crack open Sonic Origins Plus. I'm going to set Mania aside for a moment. Um, bear with me while I get this shrink wrap off. Okay, there we go. So, the slipcase, um, maybe you could see better here. Like I mentioned a moment ago, it is embossed, so the artwork is raised off of the, uh, the background. It's a really nice touch. The, uh, game case features similar artwork, but if you notice in the background here, it features the uh, checkerboard pattern that was seen on a lot of original Genesis cartridges. It's a little more pronounced on the uh, actual game case than the slipcover. Uh, spine is exactly the same, the boring white on dark gray text, and the back, I believe, is also identical. So let me open it up. Okay, so there is the disc itself. Some nice vibrant artwork on there. It says the Sonic Origins Plus. And this was a little disappointing to find out, but the additional playable character and the Game Gear games are a download code. So all of the content is not on the disc, which is a little disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, okay, then let's take a look at this reversible cover. That is very cool. Features some nice classic artwork, and again, it has the uh, original Sega Genesis checkerboard pattern in the background. There, hopefully you can see the whole thing. Okay, let me carefully put that back on. Okay. And then as for the artwork, art book, um, is fairly basic here, has um, the same artwork on the cover, the back just has the Sega logo. Uh, it's fairly thin, it doesn't have an actual spine, it's just stapled. Um, but I'll do a quick flip through here for you. 
So it's got some sketches, some uh, official high-res renders of each character. Tails, Amy, Dr. Eggman, or Robotnik as we knew him back in the day. Metal Sonic, one of my favorite characters. Um, these are all the original covers from the original Genesis and Sega CD versions of the games. Um, and here's the other regional variants, so we have the European covers and the Japanese covers. Oh, and they even have all the Game Gear covers, that's nice. Uh, looks like they're mainly the Japanese covers, though. With the exception of these two. I don't believe... These may not have been released in Japan, if I remember correctly. Alright, moving on. Um, here's the different reversible cover sheets. So it looks like each region actually got their own variant, which is kind of nice. So this, of course, is the uh, U.S. version. That'd be the uh, European the, for the um, Mega Drive and the Japanese cover. And there's the back covers for all three regions. And here we just have some classic artwork featuring the various characters. Very cool. And a few more concept sketches. Okay, so that is it for Origins. Now let's take a quick look at Mania. Um, again, need to get this shrink wrap off. Okay, so again, quick look at the really nice slip cover here. Some really nice foil accents on the front there. And here's the game case itself. Same artwork minus the uh, foil. Uh, the spine has the actual logo. And the back, again, is identical minus the uh, foil effects. Let me quickly open this guy. Okay, so inside the case, oh, the disc is loose, oh no. Put that back on. So there we have the disc itself, some nice vibrant artwork. Um, have a little advertisement for Sonic Forces, which came out around the same time. And some Sonic merch that is probably no longer available considering this game came out in 2018. But here's a look at the reversible cover sheet. So again, this features some classic Genesis style artwork, but what's nice about this one is it has the Red Stripe version, which was found on later Sega Genesis games. Um, so considering this game was meant to be a sequel to all the games that were in the Origins uh, collection, it's kind of a nice touch. Okay, so that is the cover sheet. Let me pop this back in. Okay, and let's check out this art book. Okay, so again, same artwork as the game case itself. Uh, just the Sega logo on the background. This one is a little bit thicker. It has an actual spine here. Um, let's do a quick flip through. So I've got some sketches on the inside cover. Um, some information about the game and its background. Character info. Some of the... Um, henchmen from this new game, some blurbs about Mighty and Ray, looks like, uh, it says the Sonic Mania title sequence frames, some more sketches, more sketches including uh, looks like a couple badniks and some of the boss mechs. Concept art, more concept art, um, some iterations of the logo, that's pretty cool to see, um, some more storyboard, some promotional art, that would be what they use for the cover on the left here, or similar to what they use, it's actually slightly different poses, um, that's pretty cool. Um, some information about the opening animation. Some 
for sketches. It says some original concept pitches for the opening movie. Um, some of the final animation stills from the opening movie. And finally a credits page and just the logo with um, pictures of the characters in profile. All right, so that is it for that. Okay, let's go ahead and put everything back together here. All right, so all in all, um, some pretty nice sets for uh, anyone who's a Sonic fan. Um, now, if you're not aware, with Sonic Mania Plus, the uh, the DLC, or additional characters in this case, Ray and Mighty, are on the disc, which is nice. But what's kind of interesting is uh, a few months later, or after this version was released back in 2018, Sega released a physical version without the Plus uh, add-ons. So it was literally just called Sonic Mania. So it's a Sonic Mania on the front. I believe it's actually the same artwork. And it even just says Sonic Mania on the spine. It just doesn't include the additional characters. Um, now, if I remember correctly, that was released around the holidays as kind of like a budget title. I believe it was only $19.99. So I'm wondering if they're going to do the same thing with Sonic Origins. And maybe that's why they didn't include the DLC. So they could literally just reprint the same disc with a different logo. That would be kind of annoying if they did. But... Um, yeah, it's, it's disappointing all the DLC isn't on disc, but we're kind of moving to a digital-only future, so you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> anyway, um, there you have it, both games unboxed. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're interested in adding either of these to your own collection or the upcoming Sonic Superstars game, which will have a similar release with bonus items, I will put um, pre-order links or... Um, online links in the description below for all three titles for all the different platforms. Um, please be sure to let me know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time!